emo, emo, emo. I'm Help. the one in the middle, you drunken. <sighs> emo Phillips. I knew exactly who I was going to do this final project on when I first heard about it. And it was going to be him every time. He, who is he? He's Emo Phillips. He's a stand-up comedian. He's a character comedian who should be a household name, but isn't. He talks in this very eccentric way and has this beautiful, lovely persona. And do I know why his name is Emo? No, not a clue at all. Um, but I find him to be funny and very inspirational and ahead of his time. He was really popular in the 80s and 90s. And then he just disappeared for about 15 years um, until he like started touring again with Weird Al. And that's where I found him, was opening for Weird Al. And ever since then, I've been an insatiable fiend, a, a fiending hemophiliac. And when I heard about this class having a final that was examined an artist from Chicago, and it was him because he was born, was in, Chicago. born in Chicago. And when he was 10, when I was his parents moved 10, to Downers Grove, Illinois. To Downers and when he was 12, Grove, he found out. Illinois. Or so he says in his song, Downtown Downers when Grove, I was 12, which is an I ode to the town about how the people there really are nice and how it doesn't take big bucks to shop there and how he likes to shop in Downtown Downers Grove. So I decided to take me and my roommate to Downers Grove to test out that theory see if emo is telling the truth so i present to you my emo phillips inspired adventure to downers grove illinois featuring katia aka clark thank you downtown downers grove vlog with clark my film queen You're, yes we're going to downtown downers grove we're gonna see if the people there really are nice and it really doesn't take big bucks, big bucks. um We'll see you when we get there. Oh my god. I went into the bakery. What were we making? The great Santini Bakery and Coffee Shop. I think it's open. Okay. Update. It was closed on the next one. Okay. <laughs> like there's Santa. He's in the gingerbread house. I like to shop. First independent experience shopping in downtown Downers Grove. We went to fair game and the people there really were nice and it wasn't very big bucks like for like a good set of dice it was low-key like 15 dollars wasn't that bad so like i'd recommend this place and the guy was nice and he said if you roll another 20 you've got to buy it but he was just kidding and he made that clear so i'd give this place a 10 out of 10 on niceness and like a 10 out of 10 on magic the gathering selection so we just had someone let us cross the street very nice wouldn't have happened in the south like, would not should, should that wouldn't fly there um Everything's been good. They do have like a Republican center, but like so does Grand Rapids. You can't, not everything, you know, we all have our flaws. Um, but we've got a lot of, a lot of clothing stores, which is where we gotta go on the list. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. Very nice. I went into the clothing store. And they do have the anthropology candle. <laughs> They're playing Lana. Ooh, they've got the little Lana. Say hello, Clark. Clark, what are you getting? I'm getting a pickleball queen mug, and, um, and it doesn't take big bucks. It really is 18? That's, $18? Not, so that's not big bucks. That's not big bucks. I would rate my experience an 8 out of 10 because they gave me a bow, and they also mm -hmm. gave me a bow on the inside, nice. and they wrapped it up all nice and pretty. Mm. They did think it was funny that I was buying a pickleball queen mug for a boy, mm -hmm. um, but I still appreciated it, yeah. and I thought it was good. I think she was kind of heart. Yes, kind of heart. Okay, thank you. Gotta come down here to Downers Grove to get a clock lift for seven dollars. <laughs> oh shit! We just found an underrated ass corner. We got Tribeca Cigar Company and like a Cowboy Boots Birdhouse place. I went into the bakery. Okay, so Emo wasn't lying when he said there's a lot of bakeries, but they are like they close at like two. They have like a ten to two sort of vibe, but they all look good. So I'm gonna give them like a flat like seven out of ten. Budget records right here. It was beautiful. They had a very vast one dollar and two dollar section in which I went a little crazy. Oh yeah. And then I found wait, where is it? I found my favorite Christmas album. 
of all time. Oh yeah, for Carpenter's Christmas portrait for only twelve dollars. I would say it did not cost big bucks. That's mm, what it is. Yeah. And the people, they're nice. You hear it here yep. first, folks. Mm -hmm. Another win for Downers Grove. Hello. I'm here at the cellar door. Um, you might be wondering why is the cellar door special? He doesn't say anything about that. You're wrong. And I saw the cellar door open just a crack. Now my folks had always warned me, Emo, whatever you do, don't go near the cellar door. Reference? I think so. Eat something caught my eye. Look at this beautiful winter wonderland. I feel like I'm walking in a winter wonderland. Back on the metro with Clark. Of course, so. my hall. Yay! So we enjoyed our time. We enjoyed it very thoroughly. The Downers Grove, I think. Would you say that the people there really were nice? They were really nice. Yes. It didn't cost me bucks. No deals. No? Deals with the Wazoo. A Wazoo couple places are a little more pricey, but it's okay. No, nothing like Chicago price. And nothing like Chicago price. No. I would call it like a Grand Rapids price. Yes. Like a yes. higher Grand Rapids price. Higher Grand Rapids. High end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been, beautiful. I recommend it. A lovely place. Um, <laughs> That's why I like to shop in downtown Downers Grove.